Should you be pinning content from other Pinterest accounts to grow your own Pinterest account? Well, people have been trying lots of different things as part of their Pinterest strategy and growth tactics. One of these things is pinning content from other creators in an attempt to grow their own Pinterest business account. But this isn't always the best idea. Let's talk about why. My name is Teresa Toledo and I am a Pinterest expert strategist. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the concept that pinning other people's content to your own account is not really necessary for growth. Uh, now make sure to subscribe and watch until the end before you pin anything else from other people to your Pinterest account if you want to grow it. You've probably heard somewhere or read that you need to pin content from other Pinterest accounts to grow your own Pinterest account. Now, as much as pinning content from other creators is a great way to support and even to curate content for your own audience, it doesn't work exactly as well as a growth tactic when you're marketing your own business on Pinterest. Now, why doesn't pinning other people's pins to your own account doesn't work to grow your account? Well, along with repeating pins at a high volume, repeating content from other people was used as a Pinterest tactic back in the day. The idea behind this tactic was that when you created a board, uh, you could technically enrich that board and attract more people to that board by pe pinning other people's pins there. This could help you give context to the board. Now, when you were starting a board from scratch, bringing in other creators' content to that board was used as a way to jumpstart that board and kind of help Pinterest to understand what that board uh, was about before you actually pin your own content in there. We also believe that populating our boards with high-performing content that has already been seasoned and maybe even gone viral from other people, we could kind of attract more people to our own boards and own accounts. But that wasn't exactly necessarily how it worked. The engineering behind it changed a little bit and so we kind of have to change our tactics as well. Now, there are still a lot of people that believe it is very valuable to share other people's content uh, to your account if that content is high quality, really relevant and aligns with your audience expectations. They also believe that sharing other people's content um, will help Pinterest understand better what your account and your boards are about. But is that really how it works? Well, maybe, I am not sure. Anyway, the Pinterest algorithm understands your material better and faster uh, when you have high quality content being pinned and maybe even from other people in the beginning. But I haven't had much evidence of this. If your content is being created and pinned in a very strategic manner, your content pretty much is the better option for Pinterest uh, instead of getting random content from other creators. If the content you're choosing to pin from other people is really good content, very seasoned and keyworded, then maybe it could be something to give a try. I also believe that if you spend the time you would have spent creating um, content instead of trying to find good content to pin to your own account, you would see better results. I believe that it's always best to create your board with your own pins and be, while you're building that board up. Now, this way, you're not only going to be sending traffic to other people, but you are going to be pinning content that sends traffic to your own website and also uh, getting people to see exactly what it is that your content and account is about. Another tactic that was used to be very popular back in the day was reciprocal pinning with big groups or other and other users. With this, you would pretty much drop a pin and take a pin. You would tell people, you know, tell the group the pins that you wanted to be repinning their own boards, and then you would repin the pins they wanted you to pin. Uh, now, this is not really a good growth strategy. It's all over the place. Now, however, if you have a version of this pin sharing strategy, that's highly effective. Let's say you have a small community with other business owners who really are growing together, who are really gonna be sharing your content to good boards and, and more, uh, it could be a good idea. Now, this would be different than finding random content to pin to your own account. You would be intentionally sharing each other's content uh, and growing together. Now, whenever you want to share somebody else's content on Pinterest, you need to think about what purpose is that serving to your account. 
Uh, you may find that really there isn't really a good reason for you to pin other people's content to your own account and that's okay. Now there are other situations in which it could be a good idea. For example, if you're a website designer, you want to be pinning the websites that you created to your own account so you can show to your potential customers what have you done and the work that you have been created. Also other people could also see that content and save for themselves as an inspiration and that in itself will share to much, you know, many other viewers. Now, in this case, sharing another user's content has a purpose that can help you somehow grow. Now, if you are a product seller, it doesn't really make sense to share other people's content on Pinterest. Not all businesses have the same kind of Pinterest strategy, and you should focus on what works best for you. When it comes to personal pinning, you need to think better about it. Uh, if you have a personal Pinterest account, you can go wild, pin and repin, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But if you're using your Pinterest as a business tool and you have your business account, you want to keep the content in that account always relevant, always related to your business and not random at all. Now, can you still use your Pinterest business account to pin and repin content that you like uh, as a per, you know, for your personal use? Yes. But if you do that, you need to use secret boards, okay? You don't want your audience seeing uh, random pins that have nothing to do with your business being pinned to that account. Creating a secret board is super easy. Basically, you create a board and you choose to keep that board secret. This way, you can pin whatever you want to pin there and nobody's actually going to see it but you. Now, if you are using pinning your personal content in secret boards, you can keep one account for everything and that's totally fine. Now tell me, are you ready to up-level your Pinterest strategy? If you are, make sure to subscribe and watch my next video for more Pinterest tips and tactics.